So just two quick questions before you leave then. A couple of months ago, I put a video up on YouTube on this channel about the, the billionaire space race. And I was hit with comments telling me that they didn't even go to space. And then in the comments, people were arguing, yes, they went to space. No, they didn't go to space. They went this high, that high. Can I get Neil deGrasse Tyson to weigh in and uh, clear this up for us? Did <laughs> did did Jeff Bezos actually go to space or did he just go for a pretty high plane ride? Okay, so um, it just depends on what you mean by space, mm. okay? So there's something called the Kármán line where there's a, a Hungarian-born American uh, astronomer, physicist, who thought to himself, in broad daylight, we have the sun in the sky, and you look up, it's a blue sky, right? Well, what makes the sky blue? Well, that's sunlight scattered into the air, preferentially scattering blue and allowing red, orange, yellow, amber to come through. That's why sunsets are so spectacular. The blueness of the night sky is especially deep, and the redness of the sun is especially strong, because when the sun is low on the horizon, it's going through much more atmosphere than if it's directly overhead. So, because when you're on that angle, there's like the curve of the air, it's going through multiples of what would be the same as coming straight through the top of the atmosphere. Okay, so, um, he thought to himself, there's got to be some elevation above Earth's surface where there's not enough air molecules to scatter the sunlight. And at that altitude, the blue sky dissolves, goes away, and all you see are stars and the dark night sky at the same time that you see the sun. This came to be known as the Kármán line, and that became the operational definition of space. So he didn't give an exact number, but we knew it was a num a pl it was somewhere between sort of 80 and 100 kilometers up, okay? And so in Europe, they said 100 kilometers, that's a nice round number. Let's just declare it to be 100 kilometers, mm -hmm. okay? The 80, uh, it, was, it might have been 70 or something, is closer to 50 miles, okay, in American speak. By the way, we got that from you guys over there in the UK, this mile thing. So don't, don't, don't look at me high and mighty. So, <laughs> like you're, like you got the metric high high seat there. So, so, uh, point is, the it, there is no exact line. It's some place in there. Mm -hmm. It's a very sloppy transition. So anywhere between fifty and sixty miles, between like eighty and and hundred kilometers, would be fine. Bezos and Branson went above those two different Kármán lines, but counted as the same idea, okay? They both went above those lines. Elon Musk sent people into orbit way higher than the Kármán line, Yeah. okay? Three or four times higher, okay? So here's the problem with the Kármán line. If the Earth's atmosphere were half as thick, Kármán line would be half as high up. If Earth's atmosphere were one-tenth as thick, Kármán line would be only one-tenth as high up. Instead of 100 kilometers, it'd be 10 kilometers. Go up 10 kilometers, you're in space, by the Kármán line definition. Wait, suppose Earth had no atmosphere. Oh my gosh, then just standing on its surface by Kármán line rules, you'd be in space. So a Kármán line definition is a little bit odd because it defines space not by something inherent about space, but by something inherent about Earth's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. okay. Fine. All counted, if you take a schoolroom globe, about a foot across, and ask how high above the schoolroom globe did all these people go? That's a, ni a nice question to ask, all right? Branson, Branson and Bezos went the thickness of two dimes yeah. above the surface. And Elon Musk went one centimeter mm. above the surface. Okay? 
They went higher than the International Space Station, by the way, which is like less than a centimeter up. So here you have a school room globe and everybody's, let's go into space. And that is just sitting right above Earth's surface. As an astrophysicist, to me, going into space means you're going somewhere, the moon, Mars, and beyond. Yeah, well, there we are. We, we've got the, we've got the uh, big opinion to add into the hot debate in the, in the comments. Well, no, I didn't. I, I, did I express an opinion? All I'm saying no, is no, if you're going to go with the Kármán line, be ready for the fact that if Earth's atmosphere thins, you just walking to the top of a mountain might count as being in space. Okay, so just be aware of that before you jump on it and how you're doing it. For me, I want to do something more than boldly go where hundreds have gone before. Okay, fantastic. Send me someone someplace far. <laughs>